Hi children, welcome to grade 5 science, right? Shall we move on to the topic? Very good. So, before getting into the topic, just observe these pictures and say what are these? Yes, they are washing machine, grinder, mixer, and computer. So, what are they? They are just machines. For what they are to make our work easier. So today we are going to see about the machines only, right? So our topic is machines, simple and compound machines, right? First, machines. So what is machine? It is uh, something made up of some objects or parts and makes our work easier and makes our work efficient and also save our time. These are the three main things that will happen due to the machines. Machines are things that make our work easier, efficient and save our time. Right? So what are the types of machines available? They are simple and compound machines. So what is simple machine? We can able to do the work simple easily. And the mode of uh, operation is very, very simple. It is made up of only few parts. Example, tweezers and ice tongs. Okay, squeezers also. For example, we can uh, squeeze uh, lemon with the help of the squeezer. No, they are also simple machine. It makes our work easier and also it is very simple to handle, right? So they are said to be simple machines and also ice tongs. We can uh, take the ice cubes with the help of the tongs, no? That is also a simple machine. We can handle very easily. Right. Then compound machines. Compound machines are the, uh, nothing but they are made up of more than one simple machines. That are together uh, termed as compound machines. Example, pair of scissors, bicycle, wheelbarrow, etc. Then uh, we are now we are going to discuss about the simple machines, right? So first simple machine is a lever, a rod or a bar that is used to, to lift heavy loads. Okay, just look at this picture. Here it is a rod or a it might be a bar which is used to, to lift a heavy load so that is said to be levers in this lever there are three forces applied so first one fulcrum effort load okay so rod free to move around a point the center point where the rod free to move is said to be fulcrum and the force applied on the side is said to be effort E and the rod carry the load on the other side that is said to be L. This is said to be lever. Okay, then there are three types of levers available first class lever, second class lever, and third class lever. In first class lever, the load, the fulcrum, ful fulcrum is found between the load and the effort okay in the first class lever the fulcrum will found between the load and the effort example for such type of lever is sisa claw hammer beam balance etc and the second one is second class lever here the load is present between the effort and fulcrum Okay, the example for this might be bottle opener, nutcracker, wheelbarrow, etc. For bottle opener, for the nutcracker, the nut will be present between the fulcrum, fulcrum and the force. So here the load will present between the fulcrum and the force, that is effort. Okay, this is, these are said to be second class lever. And for the third class lever, the effort is present between the load and fulcrum. Okay, example, 
tweezers eye stones etc okay so these are the three types of levers available so till now we had seen about what are machines then what are the types of machines what a simple machine compound machine and we had discussed about the simple machine lever and the three types of levers first class lever second class lever and third class lever now your homework part you have to complete the practice zone 1 and 2 you know counter book and the questions through 2 3 4 7 and 11 in your workbook i'll give you two days time to finish this homework you can finish it by 17 that is wednesday of this week finish your homework and upload it in google classroom app without fail we can see with still more interesting topics in further sessions till then stay safe stay connected bye